In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can optimize your Windows 10 for Fortnite without any knowledge about PCs or whatsoever. I'm also gonna show you all my secret steps I do to boost my FPS in Fortnite Season 7. And if you guys wanna support my work, please don't forget to leave a like. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah, guys, in this first step, I wanna show you a program which is called Clean Master. And if you wanna get this program, guys, all you have to do is click on the Discord link in the description. We're almost 10,000 members, guys, which you can ask every single day for help if you have any optimization steps or something you didn't understand, you know. So please just just join the discord and there you can get this program here and once we got it here on our pc you just simply have to go through the installation process it's super super easy and then just simply open it up here press yes because it's gonna ask you for permission and then we already got here this program and as you can see we got tons of features here we got the junk cleaner pc boost privacy clean tools and file recovery um, pretty much the only ones we actually care about are these two here, Junk Clean and PC Boost. And as you can see right now here, it pretty much scans your whole entire PC for, I don't know, temporary data, which you just put on a huge workload costing you important FPS and stuff like that. So therefore we're just gonna click here on scan actually real quick and it's gonna scan our whole entire PC for temporary data, old data, some old pictures, download stuff and all that, you know, you know, like all these junk data as it says pretty much in the title, which are on your PC and it already found here 13 gigabytes for me guys like those are all mostly just temporary data which you don't need which are just sitting there on your pc and yeah i mean it speaks for itself you know especially like um here with some programs like steam you know steam always has like some temporary data in there if you install a game and deinstall it you know there's always like a few megabytes sitting there on your hard drive and obviously after some time it adds up and i mean like 700 mbits is already like kind of a lot you know and also you're on adobe premiere pro okay that's only like 108 kilobytes that's actually not that much but yeah it all adds together you know and now we're just gonna clean it here real quick and the program is gonna do everything for us and it's free it's free to use it also says here on the top left side you can see here clean master for pc the free version here it does everything there are no like i don't know hidden costs or stuff like that and yeah we're just gonna let it run here in the background real quick and as you can see it cleaned up 12.2 gigabyte which is crazy actually and probably the biggest factor which kept here actually my disk full is windows because you know like every time when you install like a new windows update uh, windows always saves like the old file still like in a recovery file but if you ensure yourself that everything is working properly you can delete it and usually you normally like can't delete it like as easy it's kind of complicated because you need like extra permission and stuff like that and this program can just simply do it you know it's just super super easy there and now we're gonna click here to the left side here on pc boost and once we're in here we're just gonna hit the scan button here as well and it's gonna scan like literally on a whole entire pc and see if there may be some missing dll files um if you're like not like too much into pc stuff it's it's hard to explain those are pretty much like all like exadata or like some dll files which need to be running in the background those are most likely just dll files and registry edits which you need in the background you know for your programs to run properly and as you can see here on steam we got the steam registry startup run just simply not working 100 percent so therefore we're just gonna click here on boost and it's gonna optimize our whole entire pc guys you don't have to do anything by yourself therefore also mentioned in the intro that you can do this with literally zero pc knowledge and as you can see 57 items are boosted right now your PC is even faster now remember to boost regularly and you can see here it did um, 30 system items and 17 applications and 10 internet optimization tweaks so yeah, therefore it's also gonna help you out with your browser and stuff like that. I know for a fact that there are tons of people who always have like issues with their Google Chrome, you know, that something is like loading super slow and stuff like that. This should fix it. So we're just gonna click on the complete button and we're more or less done here already, guys. Because the other options here are only privacy clean tools and file recovery. I mean, you can do it as well if you maybe wanna like recover something you just deleted on accident on your PC. But as mentioned, this whole entire guide is just for performance boosting. So yeah, therefore we can close it here in the background. You can obviously do this like every like two to three weeks, maybe once you know just to fix your pc make sure that it's running 100 and i have to say this program is probably better than cc cleaner i'm not gonna cap there and with that said, let's move over to the next optimization step. And yeah, guys, for this next step, I'm gonna show you a method which actually helps you to optimize your hard drive, SSD, M.2 SSD, literally anything where you have your game on for gaming and make it run faster. And yeah, guys, if you go in the description of the video, you're gonna find the following comment line, which is called check disk. And then we have like here this question mark. And literally all you guys have to do is copy it and then go into Windows search bar and type in CMD until you find the comment prompt, right click on it and run it as an administrator. Obviously say yes here. And now as you can see we can put in here like comments and we're just gonna paste it in there and now all you guys have to do is make sure to check exactly on which drive you have your Fortnite install for most of the people it's gonna be C or D or something like that 
And yeah, I'm just gonna check right now here like an old actual like um, hard drive from me where I used to have like all my recordings because my main one is already checked. So you're just gonna type in E and then like um, this double points here and then just simply press um, enter here on your PC and it's gonna scan now literally your whole entire hard drive. And as you can see here, it just takes a few minutes here, stage one, um, examining basic data of the hard drive. It's gonna scan everything. Windows has scanned the file system and found no problems, no further actions is required. And as you can see, I do this quite often, you know guys, like my PC is really well optimized. I mean, I do this pretty much as a main job right now here. And yeah, obviously my stuff is always, um, yeah, optimized and running 100%. So therefore for me, it actually didn't take like too long for you. It might take like a few more seconds, minutes, depending on your system power. And yeah, here it literally tells you Windows has um, scanned the whole entire system file and found no problems, no further action is required. Everything is running, you know, the whole entire space is working, everything's fine. Uh, zero occupied um, log files, which means that there's like no, um, yeah, how should I say, like interrupted files on your hard drive. And yeah, the total duration was 8.22 seconds, which is really good, you know. Um, yeah, it's just gonna, gonna take like too long. And yeah, I would just recommend you to do this for every single file you have on your PC, for every single hard drive, I would say basically. And yeah, with that said, we're already done here with this step as well. Let's move over to the next one. And yeah guys, now let's come down to the final step, which I would recommend you if you actually want to get the least amount of latency and the max FPS on Fortnite. And trust me, this step is so much more important than anything else you can tweak on your Windows or stuff like that. If you are, let's say, like a hybrid player on Fortnite, you have a controller plugged into your PC 24-7, or you use this maybe for other games besides Fortnite, unplug it. If you're playing on a laptop and you have like an external screen, try to uh, put your main screen actually in sleep mode, you know, like turn it off. If you're using multiple monitors, turn off everything you don't need while playing just only straight up Fortnite. Like for me here, I have a double monitor setup. So usually when I stream, I actually unplug this one because it's adding so much more delay and costing me so much more FPS because your PC or your Windows PC has to focus on two monitors, you know, give out like double the output for your GPU, which is way more workload and it's gonna cost you FPS. If you have multiple USB devices on your PC plugged in, unplug them. Also, if it's a wireless mouse, you know, let's say like you have your main mouse and maybe like a second mouse for I don't know what, or you just like to have it on the screen because it looks fancy or oh, cool mouse, wow, well, gang gang, you know, just unplug it. Remove the USB receiver, everything. Really try to keep it to the bare minimum you need for playing. So for me, right now here, my main mouse, that's it. If you have an external microphone, yeah, let's say like this here, literally go into your Windows uh, manager and disable your headset microphone. Literally guys, trust me, it's like those small things which can make such a huge difference when it comes down to latency, when it comes down to FPS. You have to think about guys, this is all stuff which is just consistently running in the background, you know? Like your PC has to keep an instant connection to this mouse even though you don't use it right now. You just have it plugged in because it looks cool or some stuff like that. Or just so you can say, oh yeah man, I have two mice here on my desk, wow. I'm so cool, Fortnite. Um, yeah, just simply really keep it to the bare minimum. If you have a hand cam, if you have a webcam, which you're not using at that moment and you're just trying to play Fortnite and you don't want to record anything, you don't want to stream, unplug it. If you have a webcam built into your laptop, disable it. Literally, there's so much stuff you can do, guys. And trust me, this is the best tip I can probably give you. Really keep it to the bare minimum you need for gaming. And yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And also, don't forget to join the Discord, guys. We're almost at 10,000 active members where you can ask every single day for help if you have some issues with your Fortnite, with your Windows or stuff like that. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night, whatever you're watching this, and until next time, stay awesome, I'm out, peace.